And we're back. Thanks for joining us, guys. Another pitch meeting, Madam Web. We actually reacted to this because we just recently watched Madam yes. Web at home, not yes. in the theaters. Yes. Let's check this out. So, you've got a Spider-Man adjacent movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we'd make a Madam Web movie. Oh, the word Web sounds Spider-Man-y. I'm gonna green light this right away. So she's like a female Spider-Man? No. Oh. But this movie is gonna have three girls that eventually become Spider-Women. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah. Well, they're normal the entire movie, but we will kind of see it once in a flash-forward vision thing. Sure. That's enough for me to heavily lean on in the trailer. A little misleading. I believe the term is female-led, not misleading. And she can be any height, really. Never mind. So tell me about this Spider-Man movie. It's all, we're connected to it. We're a part of that. Well, at the beginning of the movie, there's gonna be a heavily pregnant woman in the Amazon trying to find a spider that gives you superpowers. How does she know it gives you powers? By knowing it. But then when she finds it, the bad guy of the movie, Ezekiel, shoots her and steals it. Oh, very mean. What's this bad guy's deal? Well, he was in the Amazon with Madam Webb's mom when she was researching spiders just before she died. Oh, good sentence. I'm going to put that almost verbatim in the trailer. Thank you. So then these Peruvian spider people save the baby's life. Another banger of a sentence. So then like 30 years later, the baby Cassandra is grown up and working as an EMT in New York City. How did the Peruvian Amazon spider people ship her back to New York City? Uh, you know, a Amazon Prime? I don't care. Okay. And her EMT partner is Ben Parker. That's the guy we're always killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, this movie's going to be so Spider-Man adjacent. People are going to love how much much this almost involves Spider-Man. Yeah, and so one day Cassie falls into some water and has a near-death experience. Those can be fatal. I mean, no, they're not. But anyway, Cassie develops the ability to see the future, kind of, sometimes. Oh, she does. And then one day she has a vision of another EMT dying in a car crash, so she tries to stop him, but he's like, okay, you're crazy, and he drives off anyway and dies. Didn't she kind of cause that by slowing him down and making him leave later than he would have without her involvement? Hey, shut up. So then one day she sees a vision of these three girls and Ezekiel is killing them in a subway. Why does he want to kill them? Because he's been having visions of them eventually getting powers and killing him, so he's got to kill them now before they destroy everything he's built. What has he built? <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't written any dialogue for this guy. I figure we just shoot the movie and then I'll figure out something after and we'll just re-record every single one of his lines in ADR. Will those not match the actor's lips? Oh, <laughs> listen, sir, I don't know how any of this works. So anyway, then Cassie saves the girls. I don't know about this. Ezekiel has a Spider-Man looking suit you could put in the trailer. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. So Cassie steals a taxi and brings these three girls to the woods in New Jersey. But she hears on the radio that she's now wanted for kidnapping. Uh-oh. Yeah, and she's like, oh, I don't want to be doing this. I hate helping people. Why did she become an EMT? Unclear. So then one of the girls <laughs> mentions that Ezekiel crawled on the ceiling like a spider. So Cassie's like, oh, okay, you three girls stay in the these woods. I'm gonna go look at some papers for three hours. What? Well, see, Ezekiel has access to surveillance cameras all over the place, so the forest really is the safest place for little girls. You say that like that. Anyway, they decide to walk to a nearby diner and dance on some tables. So they're not traumatized by almost being murdered by a spider person? No, they want to eat food and flirt with teenage boys. Well, okay then. But then somebody in the diner is reading a newspaper with an article about the kidnapping, so he calls the cops. A newspaper article about a thing that just happened a couple of hours hours ago in a different state. Yes, and so then Ezekiel tracks them down. Uh-oh. But Cassie has a little vision about this, so she hits him with the stolen taxi. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Wow. And then she's gonna teach the three girls CPR, because that's gonna come into play later. It's, it's like Chekhov's CPR class. Hey, you're doing some three-shadowing. Isn't it foreshadowing? <laughs> it's not up to that level, I don't think. No. That's fair. Anyway, now Cassie has to go to Peru for a dump. Kind of a long way to go for a bathroom break. No, it's an exposition dump. Like she does it on a canvas? No, she tracks down the spot in the Amazon where her mom died and meets with a dude who was there and gets all the information we in the audience already have. Oh, okay. How does she find the exact spot. She had a Polaroid picture of a tree. Okay, that's basically coordinates. So she has a vision about her mom, and now she's not mad at her about researching spiders anymore. Wait, isn't she wanted for kidnapping? How'd she drive a stolen taxi to the airport and get on a plane to Peru? Well, I mean, airport security was a lot more lax in 2003. Well, you know... 
That's famously untrue. Well, and how did Ezekiel not track her on all the cameras? Reasons. Anyway, while she was gone, she left the girls with Ben Parker and his very pregnant sister-in-law, Mary Parker. She's pregnant with the whole reason we're making these movies. She sure is. But then Mary goes into very premature labor, so they all have to go to the hospital, including the girls. I mean, why do the girls need to go, too? So the rest of the movie can happen. Okay. So Cassie gets back from Peru and has to go help the girls with her stolen cab. Wow. I mean, this guy's basically evil Spider-Man, and she could just kind of see the future a little bit sometimes, it's gonna be tough to fight him. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, now she steals an ambulance and crashes that through a wall into him. So her powers are seeing the future and then also Grand Theft Auto. And attempted vehicular homicide with said thefted auto, yeah. Very cool. Didn't somebody <laughs> probably need that ambulance, though? I don't care, so then there's gonna be a big final fight. None of the characters are capable of fighting him, though, right? That is correct, and there are no more stolen cars in place, so they lure him into a firework factory and set it all up to explode. I saw that in a cartoon once. Same here. So Cassie uses her vision powers to help them dodge Ezekiel's attacks, and then also she can be in multiple places at once now. Oh, she can? Yeah, the guy back in the jungle told her, when you take on responsibility, great power will come. <laughs> oh, that's kind of like the famous lie. Yeah, exactly, but not as good. And that unlocked powers for some reason. Sick. And then I figured this is the perfect opportunity for some product placement for your partner, Pepsi. What, in the middle of a what? weird firework fight? Yeah, see, I figure a giant neon Pepsi yeah. sign yeah. falls on the bad guy and he dies. Oh. Just a giant S falling on him, a giant P. Oh, <laughs> getting a giant P on you is tight. And so that's the end of the voiceover, bad guy. But then Cassie falls into some water and gets a firework in the face. Oh. So it's time for the girls to do some CPR and save her life. Oh, from the two shadowing. <laughs> yeah, now she's totally fine, except she's blind and in a wheelchair forever. What, from a firework? Yeah, yeah but she's perfectly happy. She cracks a little joke about Ben thinking that being an uncle is like all fun and no responsibility, but she knows what's coming. She knows that he and Peter's parents are gonna die and instead of saving them, she's joking about it. Yeah, really funny stuff. And then we're all just gonna tease a future where Madam Webb and those three spider women fight crime together or something. Yeah, how are they gonna get powers? Unclear, but won't it be fun to see them all in a future movie together? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know these people. Very fun. So what do you think? <laughs> hey, listen, you plop some Spider-Man related stuff onto film and you've got yourself a movie, I think. I don't really know what superhero fans like. Let's hope it's this. <laughs> oh my God, record low for Sony Spider-Man. Oh, Let me tell you, I saw the review, like I heard the reviews, I heard the rumors, the Rotten Tomatoes score, and we kind of just stayed away from this movie. Right, we kind of just avoided it, and then this Sunday we're just like, you know, let's let's watch something. What what can we watch that we haven't watched? Or maybe let's give it a shot, and we watched it at home. And I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, it wasn't like the full spider action pack type of movie. Right, it was more of a story. There was that connection between her and the girls, kind of like that B sister connection, which I connected to it. I don't know. I enjoyed it. It was silly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of silliness to it. There's mm -hmm. a lot of like unexplained things, like how you bring this baby from the Amazon to back to the city. Like, yeah, a lot of things that didn't make sense, but I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. It was a chill, fun movie to watch. It wasn't as terrible as all these says mm -hmm. in my opinion and i think that actress did a good job too yeah and you're not a you're like a huge huge fan of a lot of comic book movies right, right? no but this one you happen to enjoy i did and i gotta say maybe because i went in with very low expectations mm -hmm. i did not hate this movie right a part of me was just like just there chilling watching right. it kind of enjoying it mm -hmm. you know maybe because of the low expectations that i had but one thing I got to say about this movie is that you can tell the budget is not as big as yeah. like the other Marvel yeah. movies. Mm -hmm. So there's not as many explosions. There's not as many craziness. There's not as many CGI battles, right? Mm -hmm. So what they had to do was maybe rely on the story a little bit, mm -hmm. which is something that I kind of liked. You know, because if you look back at the Miss Marvels, the Marvels, right? There was so much stuff going on in that movie. They threw so much, like, they're in space, they're in another planet. Cats. There's, like, cats taking over spaceships. I will, <laughs> when I watched the Marvels, I was like, what is going on in this movie? <laughs> Too much. 
it just spun Way it just spun out of control where well, this one is a little bit more grounded yeah. you know the characters are a little bit more developed yeah it's silly at times sometimes it doesn't make any damn sense yeah you know some of the decisions they make are just stupid yeah but it's kind of uh more relies on the story yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and you know I, I appreciate that so yeah i didn't hate it i kind of enjoyed it and it's too bad they're probably not gonna make another one. I know, which it sucks because it's like we never saw the girls how they got the power. Exactly. Like they show it that they're gonna have the power, but then we're not gonna see it. So yeah. I kinda disappointed. Kind of that. disappointed, right? Very disappointed. I wouldn't actually mind seeing a sequel to this. Yeah. You know, maybe they write so. it a little bit better. There was a good movie here so now, there was a good movie here somewhere. Maybe the writing could have been a little bit better and it could have took it to another level. Maybe. Uh, but the concept, I like the concept, and I like yeah. the, I like the concept, and I like the characters. Yes, you know. I mean, spider movies are always have this like story to it, right? This yeah. like family kind of story to a connection, mm-hmm. you know. Like mm-hmm. Spider Man is kind of like that. I mean, yeah. Spider Man is a little more action packed and right. better, but it's a story too. So well, one of the know. things is it kind of reminded me. Of, this movie is kind of like a throwback. Of the early 2000s movies, almost like Final Destination, mm. I Know What You Did Last Summer, mm. you know, Scream. It's not a horror movie, but it kind of reminds me of that genre gotcha. of back in the days, early 2000 movies that were very popular types of movies, mm. you know, especially like Final Destination type of thing where you got a young group of young people trying to escape this danger. And that, it gave me that vibe. Gotcha. And that's probably why I enjoyed it because back in the day, I used to like those movies. Yeah. I really did. Yeah, me too. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment. Best of luck. What did you think? Madam Web, did you check it out? I feel like I like I feel like nobody watched this movie. <laughs> Everybody just completely <laughs> avoided it. Except for us. Uh, we watched it late. <laughs> we watched it late, but we watched it. But we did. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.